We are talking about persistence. Praise God. Persistence. Kipindi hiki kinataka lazima u, lazima ujikaze, lazima ujipiganie, lazima ukwe pale pale. And our scripture comes from the book of Luke chapter 18. Luke chapter 18 from verse 1. It says, one day Jesus told his disciples a story to show that they should always pray and never give up. Bona sifiwe. That you should always pray and never give up. This is my version NLT. And it says, there was a judge in a certain city, he said, who neither feared God nor cared about people. He said, okay, sorry, he said, who neither feared God nor cared about people. A widow of that city came to him repeatedly, saying, give me justice in this dispute with my enemy. The judge ignored her for a while. But finally, he said to himself, I don't fear God or care about people, but this woman is driving me crazy. I'm going to see that she gets justice because she's wearing me out with her constant requests. Then the Lord said, learn a lesson from this unjust judge. Even he rendered a just decision in the end. Eventually, he rendered a just decision. So don't, don't you think God will surely give justice to his chosen people who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will grant justice to them quickly. But when the Son of Man returns, how many will he find on the earth who have faith? Praise God. Praise God. Kwamba, this, this judge, akwa naogopa mungu, aogopi watu. When somebody already does not fear God, they do not fear men. If you, are, if you have friends or you have colleagues where we are working in systems, kuna kwanga na watu wameishi kwa waganga. Unajua wameka kwa waganga. Eh? Hata nilukunja nikapata tawa waganga wanakuanga categorized. Wata hawa wanaeka mabango hapa ati nikona dawa ya mapezi, dawa ya kufungua biashara, dawa ya kufanya nini. Kuna waganga wana specialize. Wanajulikana kama unataka mutoto, Ismaela Abdul Karim. Kama unataka biashara, Raphael Sujui nani nani. They are specialists. Vile sisi tuko specialist, gynecologist, pediatrician, ivo. So kuna watu wamedumu kwa waganga. Ata ukienda kuongea, ata kusema, anasema, anasema hake. Hey, <laughs> nani wame songeza kiti yangu? Unaona kila mtu anadisapia po, unabaki umesimama peke yako. Aki, please, in the name of God. God gain toki. God gain toki. So, when you hear anyone despising God, at the back of your mind, jua, uyo ni mutu. Anyone who does not fear God will never fear you. Anyone that, that does not respect God will never respect you. Bona sifiwe. Bona sifiwe. Even Jesus grew in wisdom. Pleasing to who? God. And then, men. Kwa sababu, wewe akifikiria aki kukufanya mabaya, anakumbuka at least anayeshimu mungu, God will judge me. So, atafikiria marambili. Akiwa mekasirika kabisa kabisa, umemekasirisha anana kupigi ngumu, anauliza, anajikumbusha kwamba, what will God say if he was to be here right now? Anawacha. So if anyone does not fear God, they don't fear men. They don't care about human beings. They don't care about life. Bwana asifiwe. So, iyo ni, iyo, ili, iyo, ni, iyo ni a point to note. If you're having friends who don't fear God, run away from them. If you're having business partners who don't fear God, unamuambia sasa vile tuafaya biashara misa tada isita kwa naenda kanzana. Nasema tima ni naoka ya kanisa kila saa kila saa. Kwa ni uwe mungu wajui unatafta pesa. My friend, start looking for a way of getting out of that partnership and getting a new person. If you, if you are dating somebody who does not fear God, already know your marriage is dead before even starting, before even imagination. Because if they will never respect God, they will never respect you. Sema mungu kitu gani uniambiambie juu ya mungu. My friend, ata kupiga mangumi, mateke, makumbo, makila kitu. Because if they don't fear God, why should they fear man? So this was the story of that judge. He never feared God, he never feared man. 
But something that broke him to make a decision that was just is because this woman kept on. Kila siku yuko pale. Kila siku yuko pale. Na unajua vile wa mama tunakuanga. Si unajua vile wa mama tunakuanga. Mumeiona wa mama. Mumeiona mbaba akienda kwa mheshimiwa na mumama akienda kwa mheshimiwa. Nani wana peonga attention? Nani wana peonga attention? Unajua hata mabouncer watu bebangi wa mama style na wabeba wa baba. Ukisema hapa leo mekushika. Kia. Sisi unasema nkune. Sasa anaona atakushika wapi anawacha. <laughs> and you are making noise and you are creating drama. Anasema huyo mwanamke ataniharibia ata mkutano. Mami ulikuwa unasema nini ama ona huyo Aye, hebu sikie mama anasema nini uniambie. Praise God. But that is not this. The situation is this. Komba alikuwa anaenda huko kila wakati. So I can imagine she was causing a lot of chaos. Eh? Paka the judge said this woman is going to drive me crazy. This woman is going to make me mad. It must have been a lot of trouble. Eventually Jesus said the judge made a decision and he made a just decision. Bwana asifiwe. So alikuwa anasema kama huyo mtu ambaye haokopi Mungu na haokopi wanadamu alikuja akafanya maamuzi aliyo hata. Sembuse Mungu ambaye ni haki ye mwenyewe. Unafikiri vile mnaenda kwa Mungu kila siku unalia kila siku atiaoni anaona anasikia anataka kujua are you really for real Will you go back there tomorrow or you are just crying today Wengine wenu prayer request zenu zinakuanga ile saa sa 12 mpaka saa 2 saa mbili na nusu hapa asubuhi Mkitoka hapa amuna prayer request amuzrudi your prayer request Are you able to go before God again and again And the lesson Jesus wanted us to learn is this that you must pray without giving up. I love this version nasema without giving up. Not ceasing. Ceasing says ngine una imagine is without stopping. It's not stopping. Giving up. Unaanguka unasimama. Unasikia umekufa moyo unasema it is just a feeling that I'm disappointed my, but my God is alive and he hears me and you rise again and you start praying once again. Bwana asifiwe. And this is a season of persistence, not just in prayer, kwa kila kitu unataka. If you want your life to change, you must persist. Unatembea leo umetoka kwa njia unarudi. Unasema I nearly stumble, ninarudi. Bwana asifiwe.